Hi, this is Ben Baxter with Accent Software. Today we're going to look at some of the capabilities within Microsoft's Dynamics NAV and Dynamics 365 Business Central. These products are actually one and the same product, just one is a on-premise version, the other one is the cloud offering. So whether you want it on your servers or in Microsoft's cloud, we have a great solution for you. The capabilities of both products are the same. And today we're going to look at some of the project services capability for a custom build manufacturer. So in this case, we're going to quote out and build a project right from inside the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that a customer has called me. It is a customer that I know, so I'm just going to look him up by name. And there's my customer right there. So I want to go ahead and create a sales quote to them. So I simply select the sales quote option. And then I want to come down to my lines and I'm going to select the template that I want to use. In this case, it is a conveyor system. So as I type, it's going to find my available templates and I'm going to select one, which is for a custom conveyor system that includes the design time, whether that's client meetings, engineering time, specification development, as well as fabrication and eventually on-site installation and training of the product. Now the client has come in and told me that they need the project completed by a specific date. Now my work date's out in the future, so we're gonna jump out into 2019, and we're gonna pick a date out in the future. So they've told me when I have to have it completed by, and now the only thing I have to do is create the project. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell the system to do so. And you can see that the system has added a job number to the line for me. And what it actually did for me is it used my sales document number as my project number. So whether I'm on a sales quote or on the job itself, I'm going to know exactly which one it relates to. Now, what exactly did it do? Well, it provided a template for me. So here's my pre-production time. So my engineering, my internal meetings, my designer time. It also included the fabrication time. So my cutting, machining, welding, all the way through to final assembly. And then the on-site time for prepping the site, doing the install, training up the client on how to use this new custom build that we're going to make for them. So those are the steps. And then it's also got a template of time. Now you may or may not have time associated with it. You may just want the structure of time. You may have also included material costs. So there may be some standard build materials, some custom build materials. You may import from a CAD system once the CAD work has been done. So Whatever the case is, the template is simply a way of giving you a step into the future so that you can work through the proposal development quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and update some of this information. So we're gonna say Linda's gonna need twice as much time. This is a big project. So it's gonna go ahead and say, oh, we've gone ahead and updated it. We're gonna recalculate the dates for you based on this new information. Now maybe some of the internal meetings we don't need as much. We, uh, we covered a lot the last time. Now my fabrication time, like I said, it's a big project. So we'll go ahead and add different times to some of these. And it's gonna give me some confirmations each time I do this, just to let me know, hey, I, I received the information that you just input into the system for me and, and I've made some adjustments. Now as I do this, go ahead and watch. This is 12 hours of time for Timothy. So that's $996, that's my total price and there's an, a total cost for Timothy's time. Now when I come in and we'll just double it. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna update that. So for that particular activity, in this case assembly, it's now $1,992 as the estimated price. Now this isn't fixed, this is just our estimate or guide to helping us quote out this type of work. And I can come through and make those changes all the way through my system. Once I've updated my estimate, now I'm just doing some of the time here, but you can always go in and adjust the material requirements for each of these steps as well through the bomb and, and that sort of thing. But once I'm comfortable with what we've put together, then I'm gonna go ahead and have it take that estimated price. So again, it had a system estimated price, and I've gone ahead and copied that over to my contract amount. So at this point, I can start playing with the numbers over here. So let's say we wanna make a, a flat 50% margin across the board on some of these, come down 34, that seems pretty low, we'll bring that up to 40, uh, then we'll go down and make some of the rest of them 50. So anything, we wanna be between that 40 and 50 range. So we'll go ahead and adjust some of these, 
and uh, eventually we're going to come up with uh, what those numbers look like. So as I make my adjustments here, the system is going ahead and updating my estimated contract amount. So in this case, we've come up with a total contract uh, bid of 26,647. Uh, we're going to crank that down a little bit. I'm going to shave, let's say, $100 off of that. So we'll come in and make this 2,300 uh, instead of 24. So uh, just adjusting my numbers. So now I'm uh, 26,547. Let's take it down uh, just a little bit more. We'll take it down to 250, and that gets me under that uh, 26,500 mark. So that's the number I want, right? So I've very quickly, obviously it takes a longer time to go through and, and develop these estimates. If I'm comfortable with what I've put together, then I can simply close my estimate and it takes me back to my sales quote. And it's gonna say, you've changed your unit price from zero. Would you like to use the unit price that you've come up with on that job? So I'm gonna say yes. And so now that 26,497, again, trying to get under that 26,500 number, is now on my quote. So again, from a customer, I created a quote, created a full project, and we can get into that in some of these later videos on what the project structure looks like, but we've created a task list, we've adjusted some of the time, we could have adjusted the bill material, and we've now got an estimate and a quote that we're gonna send off to that customer. So at this point, I, I'm finished with my order. I can go ahead and send it off to my customer. So I'm just clicking send by email. It's gonna use my standard template and I can pretty this up through a word report to have a nice body of the email. Now in this case, I've kept mine very simple, but I'm gonna say okay. And that's gonna send an email right from my dynamic system to whoever the client is. Now in this case, I'm having it sent to myself so that you can see it. Now it's taking a little bit longer than it normally does, but uh, we'll give that a second and then we'll go over and take a look at it. Okay, so now that that's sent, let's go ahead and jump over to our email and we'll just see if it's popped in here. So there it is. Um, so this is our sales quote. So again, a very simple email, but the, the quote is what is important. So coming right out of our database, Cronus is the name of that demo company I was in. Uh, it has created the quote to the customer with our custom conveyor system under that 26,500 mark. And this is the quote that I've now sent out to that customer. So again, this is in my inbox from my uh, system. So from inside Dynamics, I put together the quote, I put together the project, I created the estimate, and I quoted that out by sending it out in email. So without uh, spending too much time, under 10 minutes for this video, uh, we've gone ahead and put together a project. Now there is obviously a lot more. I'm glazing over how simple it is to build an actual estimate for some of these larger projects, but the concept is the same, is I can very quickly create a project, I don't have to go through a big wizard or anything like that, the system knows what information I need because I've templatized it. So I have a conveyor template, I can have unlimited number of templates that I can use to help me create, quote, and process these projects. So I hope you like this capability. I think it's a great functionality for custom build shops, for custom service shops. If you have long duration projects, this is a great piece of software and a great fit for your business. So reach out to us, ask us some questions. Let's talk about your business needs and we'll see if there's a good fit. For that, I'm Accent Software and Ben Baxter and I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you very much.